What I'm tapping on right here is the cornea. That's the first structure that we see as we look anterior to the eye. If we go posterior to this, we run into the sclera. The sclera is the white part of the eye. This is where the um, muscles that control our eye basically grab onto. So we have superior rectus muscle, we have medial rectus muscle. This is medial rectus because we are looking at a right eye here. This would be inferior rectus muscle. In fact, if I show you this structure right here, this would be the tendon of superior oblique. Remember, this grabs on an angle, hence the name oblique. So it's going to come like this, run through that trochlea, and then head back this way. Uh, sclera of the eye, again, back to the cornea. This is the iris, or the colored portion of the eye. And then, of course, this is the pupil. That's that open area that the iris creates. Now, obviously, this has been sectioned off right here. So if we look at it from a slightly different angle, we can see this anterior segment. Anterior segment basically goes from the cornea to the lens. This is the lens that I'm touching right here. And within this region, we have a fluid. We call it aqueous humor. You can see the ciliary body here. If I angle this down a little bit, you can see ciliary body here as well in sort of that muscly pinkish color. And then coming from there, we have the zonules or the suspensory ligaments that are grabbing onto and holding that lens in place. This is all part of the anterior segment. There's an anterior chamber that goes from the cornea to the iris. There's a posterior chamber that goes from the iris to the lens. Once we go posterior to the lens, we are now in the posterior segment of the eye, and this takes us all the way to the back. Again, as we look at the layers here, we have this sclera. That's the white of the eye, so to speak. If we go a layer deep to that, we're looking at the choroid. This is the very vascular layer. And as we go deep to that, this is the retina. And the retina is pushed out to give this eye its sort of globular or globe-like shape because of the vitreous humor. The vitreous humor is sort of that jelly-like substance that, again, pushes the retina out and leads it to be that inside layer on, on, on the eye. So sclera, outer layer, choroid, middle layer, retina, the inside layer. And then, of course, deep to the retina is going to be the vitreous humor. If we come all the way back to the posterior side here, a couple things I want to point out. This is the optic nerve, cranial nerve number two, and you can see the retinal blood vessels that run through there. If you also look just laterally to where this retina enters the eye, you'll see this yellow spot right here. And this is what we call the fovea. The fovea is that area that is loaded up with cones, helps us with visions and color and sharpness.